Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison. Uh, I do a lot of stuff on this channel. The manifestation, lifestyle, beauty, fitness, vlogging. There's so much that I do on this channel. It's basically just my life and what I want to talk about. So if you guys are down with that, give me a subscribe like this video and let's have fun on this channel hi guys so today's video is five things to let you know if you found the one um that's there's no level of importance to these but there's five things five traits five ways to know if you found the one if you guys want me to i will do one on like twin flames and soulmates and stuff That'll be fine. This video is more general. Um, how to know if someone is the one. First of all, I wanna say everything starts with self-love. When you love yourself, then that's when things come to you. That's when you find that person that is right for you. If, if you're ready to share that love with someone else, that's when you know that you will find the one. Everything stems from self-love. I'm not kidding. Everything. Your job, your relationships, everything everything comes from self-love i just want to say you are just as important as finding someone else and you cannot be with someone if you don't love yourself it's going to cause problem you are important please work on your crap before you want to get with somebody else and share the crap i mean it's good to share like it's good everyone's gonna have baggage everyone has been hurt in the past We're never totally healed okay there's always gonna be crap we need to work on but if you do work on it and you get to yourself of a place where you are happy and putting yourself first and saying no to things you want to say no to that's when things just start to align for you and it's just healthier to try to be with someone when you have dealt with a good bit of stuff you know there's lots of things that i used to say to myself and tell myself that really weren't serving me you know trust issues stuff like that when i finally faced it and was like this is not a good belief system that i'm running on you know screw love like that's not good you know So, no wonder I'm attracting crappy people into my life because I'm believing that that's what I deserve. So, please know your worth before you want to continue to try to be with someone. Because if someone does not see your worth, and let's just say this is number one. If someone does not see your worth, get the hell out. If someone does not see your worth, they're not worth your time, okay? So that's like one of the main things and knowing if someone is the one um if they see your worth and they respect you for me that's like number one thing with knowing if they're the one i have the one so i am speaking of experience but if someone if someone respects you respects what you do appreciates you and shows you that you're worthy that's that's a that's a key right there which you know obviously you need to make sure that you enjoy yourself with them as well if they can't respect who you are and if they're trying to change you if they're trying to push you to do things or um they just downgrade you, narcissism, goodbye. No, not, if they don't like treat you with respect, like get out girl, um, or boy, if you're a boy watching this. But, so yeah, that's like one of the, the main things, okay? If they don't respect you, they ain't the one. So um, yeah, that is number one. Number two, um, if you enjoy yourself with them like truly can let go be yourself if you can be that genuine part of you that people don't usually see you can let go and just take off the mask laugh have fun like that is 
a key, I feel like, and knowing if someone's the one. If how it's how you feel around them. If they make you feel good, like and just comfortable. Being comfortable is key with someone. Um obviously it's going to be scary at first if you're new to talking and being with someone. Um but that's that's a good one right there. And if it's mutual as well, um, if they're not as comfortable and not, you know, a little I mean, we all can be we all can have our walls up and we all can just kind of, you know, be at arm's length at first. If they're comfortable with you too, like, you'll know. You'll know that vibe. That vibe, if you work on your intuition and you are good with knowing the difference between good and bad and just having that feeling, you'll have that feeling. Like, if this person is genuine and wants to be on the same page but yeah so that is number two being comfortable you know enjoying yourself being able to let your guard down um that's that's important so number three number three is also important there's no there's no order here but number three um being able to be on the same page and having the same goals if you can be on the same page and wanting the same things with someone then it leaves room to grow and i think that's pretty big on knowing if that's that person is the one because you want to be able to grow you don't want to be stagnant you don't want to be in the same position as you are right now like 10 years from now you want you want a house you want your own car like you want this job like you want to move and I think it's important to have similar goals obviously not the same because like someone could be a realtor and then someone could be a fashion designer like that doesn't matter but i'm just saying like wanting somewhat of the same thing um kind of having the same values um are really important and uh, that might be like Oh, they're all so good so I'm not gonna say that there's an importance to one than the other but being on the same page because if you can't grow with someone if you can't evolve with someone it's gonna be hard to to want to you know go forward in the relationship because they don't want to go forward so find someone that wants to grow within themselves as well if they aren't willing to work on their bullshit they aren't willing to look at some of their darkness and some everyone has flaws okay but if they're not willing to work on those flaws in a sense that those flaws might be hurting you too it's gonna be hard to move forward because if they're not willing to work on themselves and better themselves it's gonna be hard to even better your guys's future um so wanting to be on the same page and just really wanting to work on yourselves to be able to work on your guys's relationship does that make sense um but yeah, just being able to grow with someone, being on the same page, um, wanting the same things and wanting to better themselves, therefore to better the relationship. Number four, if they are the one, is if they make you a priority. Now, I do say you are yourselves first priority, but in the sense of if they aren't putting you first your relationship first if they're constantly just like going out with their friends and not talking about things and not wanting to spend time with you make sure that you're good if they're not just like compassionate if they're not sympathetic if they're not there for you okay it's a problem it's a problem. Um, you want someone that is going to be there for you. Be someone that you can lean on sometimes. I'm not saying be codependent with them. I'm just saying they're just not wanting to put time into you and your relationship. It's kind of play, these all kind of play in with each other. Um, they're not being there for you when you need someone. They should be your best friend. They should be your friend. 
Like, that person you're with should be your best friend. I don't care what anyone says. That person you're going to spend the rest of your life with, if they're not going to put you first and your priorities and how you feel isn't important to them, that is a big no. Like, that is not the person you need to be with or spend your time with. Um, or really just give you, give them any time of day. If they're not going to give you the time of day, don't give them the time of day. Like, that's just, that's a big one. Like, I'm not saying they need to drop everything for you. And I'm not saying be codependent on someone. You need to be able to take care of yourself first, right? But time with each other is important, is what I'm trying to say. Um... And if they're not willing to, like, keep that spark going, um, keep you going, <laughs> like, if they just don't want to make time for you, that's an issue. Um, if they're constantly just, like, surrounded by their friends, or if they can't be with you, like, just one-on-one, -on -one, like, that's an issue. Um, I don't know what else to say about that, but I don't know if they'd be the one if they constantly aren't really like paying attention to you or wanting to grow and spend time with you and you know sometimes when you're with each other for a while you start to lose that spark a little bit and I don't know you just you have to make sure that you are making time for each other that's what I'm saying number five if they are the one for you um just commitment really um, that kind of ties all of these in, the, in together, but commitment to your guys' growth, to each other, obviously we don't want no cheaters in the building, um, but just commitment and communication and committing to communicating and being the best version of your guys' relationship Communication is key, 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 key. If they're not willing to communicate, nope, we done. Because communication is literally everything. If you guys cannot talk about things, if you guys cannot work things out, if you guys are constantly fighting, that's a no. If you guys are fighting all the time, obviously people fight, okay? It's part of relationships. Um, but like if you're not willing to talk about things, and work on things and want to commit to growing and wanting the same things you know if they are not willing to commit to you if they're not willing to give you the time of day that you deserve if they're not willing to grow with you and if they keep lying about shit definitely no no if they're lying get the go girl don't be putting up, don't be giving people chances. Boy, girl, whoever's watching, don't give people chances like that. One or two's good, okay? Like, maybe two, you know what I'm saying? But like, if they're constantly lying and saying things that they're gonna do and don't do it, don't waste your time. Like, don't, this is be a whole different topic video about toxic relationships. You gotta love yourself. Love yourself enough to realize that you deserve the best and you don't deserve stupid, dumb, little boy bullshit. Um, you don't deserve the lying and the cheating and not being, a, being able to commit to you. You just want someone that wants to put time into you. If they wanna put time into you and you feel the same, this is a big one. If you feel the same about all of those things I just said, if feelings are mutual, you want to grow with them, you are putting enough time into them as well as they are putting enough time into you. A relationship is not just one-sided. You have to be on the same page about things. And if you feel the same way about them, and if you're putting time into them, you're making them first, then it's going to grow. But if they're, one person is not doing that, if one person is putting in all the work and all the effort, it's not going to work and that person is not the one for you, okay? I'm not saying people can't change, but they can. They can change, okay? But some people can't change, okay? And you have to like, you have to realize that. Some people do not change. No matter how many times they say things are gonna be different, no matter how many times they try to show that they care, 
you know, one time's not gonna do it, honey, okay? One time are you buying flowers and saying, let's work on things and communicating, and then the next day or the couple days later, you're back to the same f <sighs> relationship is an ongoing process okay you can't do something one day and then a couple of days later go back on everything you just said and you continue to act the same way that you were previously acting it's not gonna it's not gonna work if they're having traits of not being able to commit not wanting to work on themselves not wanting to grow not giving you time or not you know obviously don't smother each other okay everyone needs their own space everyone needs time to breathe and be themselves you need to make time for yourself as well but there's a fine line between like having your time and your good healthy mindset self-care routine and then there's like a point of not making any time and like not being committed to the relationship and you're out with your friends all the time that's not really like what I'm talking about you know with being having time to yourself that's not what I'm talking about I'm gonna stop rambling I think you guys get the gist that if they're the one you'll freaking know you will know if they are the one like you won't have to put up with bull crap you won't have to go through previous things that you went through before and a lot of it if you want a separate video on how to find the one, um, let me know. Because that all stems from self-love. It's all about how you feel about yourself. If you really want to find the one, you will work on yourself and know that you deserve the utmost respect and loyalty. If they're loyal to you, that is like the biggest number one thing to know if they're the one. Um, but that goes with commitment, you know being loyal and commit to you um but like i said if you know your worth you will know what you deserve and you will know if they are the one don't take bull crap don't take it we're not here for that we are we are evolving humans we are trying to be the best person we can be and you need someone to match that energy don't Put yourself back there again okay you don't have time to clean up other people's messes you don't have time to drag someone along find someone that matches your energy and that's all that you really need that's how you know if they're the one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i didn't ramble too much uh but yeah it was just a little fun thing and i just wanted to i just wanted to talk about it um I have my own experience with things, so I think I know a little bit. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.